one of the interesting questions is, how do we understand the nature of violence? And in our work, there's a kind of algorithm that people engage in, which is sort of scripted, you want to call unconscious. So in order to be angry, you have to perceive a provocation. That some kind of trigger, it, what people say or what they don't say, what they do or they don't do, needs to be seen as a provocation. And moreover, you have to have the accompanying attribution that they are doing it to you on purpose. Moreover, you have to feel victimized. Okay? That they fail to understand that they're doing this to you. Okay? You have to dehumanize the other person. You have to feel justified in your behavior. See, this is an eye for an eye. This is a tooth for a tooth. Okay? I mean, if you're going to treat me in that way, I'm going to just act out in a similar fashion. One of the things we know from the research, information processing research, is that people who are prone to become angry, who have this penchant, who have been exposed to models of aggressive behavior throughout their whole lives, that those particular individuals are prone to misperceive or to view ambiguous cues as provocations. They go around wearing lenses of seeing personal threats all over the place. And as a result of that, they are more predisposed. What else do we know about those individuals, whether it's the children or people who are beating up their spouses? Is that they are more prone to come up with aggressive solutions to achieve their goals. They are less likely to have scripts that are developed in terms of pro-social acts. Aggression works. From the person of the perpetrator, it gets the bitch to shut up. It gets my goal, okay? It makes me feel better. It reduces the anxiety. And often anger is a secondary emotion. So people often get angry because they feel abandoned, humiliated, marginalized. So when you're looking at the component processes, we're talking about what is the nature of the appraisal, the way in which you view this as a provocation, the way in which you see it as intentional and directed at you, the degree to which you feel victimized, the way in which you feel justified in your response, the degree to which you call up a script or a plan of aggressive responses. Okay. And moreover, one of the things we know about angry and aggressive individual is that they tend to pull for anger and aggression in others. And then they say to you, see, I'm not making it up. Go look for yourself. The job for the therapist is to make people aware of that sequence. The job for the therapist is to have people appreciate how they unwittingly, unknowingly come to produce the reactions in others that confirms their view of themselves.